Finally, the Schrodinger cat experiment works in real life too. Originally, the cat experiment given by Erwin Schrodinger was just a tool for the people who misinterpreted the theory behind quantum mechanics. Do check this time, right now, getting to the point of this video, if you already know of the experiment, or you could understand what really is the Schrodinger's cat experiment in detail and why he introduced such an experiment. So, as the theory behind quantum mechanics was building up in the 1930s, the theory says quantum state only collapses when one decides to observe the state of the particle. Schrodinger thought this was poorly understood by the scientific community. So Schrodinger decided to come up with this cat experiment. When looking closer at the experiment, the cat is inside the box, and placed inside is a closed poison container with a timer, ready to break it if the timer is triggered. The timer depends on the decay of an atom, which obeys the laws of quantum mechanics. So anytime, this poison could break out and kill the cat, or not broken and the cat lives. Both scenarios are present inside a sealed box. The thing is, there is no observer there to observe what's really happening inside the box because it is sealed, unless one decides to open out and see for themselves. There is a fact where it says, every interaction a quantum particle makes collapses the state of the particle. Also the fact that, independent of your consciousness, the collapse can happen when measured using a measuring device, which is not a conscious observer, but simply a device. So the collapse of the quantum state need not be requiring a conscious observer after all. Over those years, it was getting to the point of realization, quantum mechanics is real, and it is very much absurd and happens in quantum reality. No one was ready to even test out an equivalent of Schrodinger's cat. But this all has changed. In 1996, four researchers did the impossible at the National Institute of Technology, Colorado. Instead of using a quantum timer and a cat, they used a positive ion of a beryllium atom. Researchers placed the ion inside a cage which uses an electromagnetic field to isolate it from the surrounding. Interestingly, they cooled down the ion to its lowest energy with just using a laser. They did this to measure the ion's position and spin to get a good accuracy for receiving a convincing result. After this, they again used the laser to stimulate motion and character in such a way that it could show the ion having 50% chance spinning up in the initial position and the other 50% spinning down but 80 nanometers away from its initial position. So theoretically, an ion is present at two different places and two different states at the same time, which is like saying a cat is dead and alive, given that a cat could walk from its resting place. The result they got, astonishingly, confirmed Schrodinger's cat thought experiment in the quantum world. They observed an interference pattern, which is a sign that the ion is present at different places and different states at the same time. Simple to understand this is to visualize two balls placed away by a small distance on a pond, floating. Move the balls like jumping up and down on the pond. What you would observe is the water ripples formed on the pond. The water ripples seen created a pattern which is called the interference pattern. Observing an interference pattern is a sign of the presence of the same, but two different phenomena, taking place by small distances apart. So simple enough, a real-life Schrodinger cat experiment is proven, but do make sure to not try this experiment at home with a real-life cat, because the cat won't be forgiving you in the end. Besides that, thank you for listening till here, and do make sure to subscribe so that you won't missing any fantastic videos from us. Tell me in the comments, were you able to understand this cat experiment? Love to help. As always, thank you for watching. See you soon. Peace.